Well, this is going to be an exciting day at number four. I'm standing in the old forge, the blacksmith shop, dated 1660, something like that. And uh, the top half, the second floor wall behind me, is ready to fall down. It's been taking a wash of rain from the neighboring roofs and from the sky, unprotected for not sure how long, maybe a hundred years, maybe not that long. Actually, we've heard of people who came here to get their bicycles fixed, and they're still alive, so maybe it hasn't been that long. But at any rate, the wall has been being drenched this uh, winter. We're now in March. And if we go in really close here, you can see right through that wall. And those are the lentils that we're going to try to pull out. And everything above it, or a good section of it, unsupported will fall and likely what's above it will fall as well but it might not so this is the other side tilting up from the ground you should see that, that top section of wall is leaning inward toward the outside above that doorway so this whole section here wants to come in this direction. However, that section up there, by the way, you can see a rain chute that's been washing water down, which accounts for a lot of the destruction of this part of the wall. Anyway, that section is actually leaning in the other way. Now let's go back and look on the other side. Well, it's a little hard to tell which direction it's leaning, looking at it through the camera here, but believe me, it's sort of offset. In fact, you can sort of see it right there. That line of rock, the section above it has shifted uh, toward the inside of the building a little bit. So it's probably going to want to come in this direction. So the objective is to topple this part here, above the doorway and up to there. All of that is the most dangerous part of the wall currently. And over here on the left, you can see a fissure, a crack that goes all the way down. That entire section is going to come down and likely everything to the left of the crack will stay. Now directly behind the wall is an old well. So we're going to take some action to prevent any debris from falling into it. And the objective is to lasso a couple of chevrons, a couple of uh, window, what do you call them? Um, God, I've done this so many times. I've replaced lentils um, that are probably going to take a small tug to pull out and theoretically that will start a slow chain reaction or maybe a vast one of, of stones falling down. And sadly, all the exciting parts were not caught on video because I gave the camera to uh, Ellie and either I didn't turn it on or she accidentally turned it off. But anyway, one, two, we took three. down um, two, three. half one, two, three. the wall back there one, two, and lots three. of it gave way easily and some of it was pretty stubborn and we wound up pulling it with ropes and throwing rocks at it, eventually got it down. <laughs> and then the rest we took down rock by rock. Once, once the dangerous portions were down, the remaining portion of the wall we just disassembled from the top down. But can't get anywhere near that right hand portion because uh, even yesterday with the vibration of rocks hitting the ground, a portion of that other side gave way unexpectedly. From here you can appreciate the problem better. If you look at the left side of the wall, the very left side of the wall, part that protrudes the furthest, which is this section, that is the original position of the wall. In front of it is a section of rock shifted inward. As you come down, you can see A huge section of the wall 
is splitting to the outside. And what we're going to try to do, where is that? Yeah. No, it's not there. Ah, yeah. So there is an old lintel, which has used to be six inches further to the right. There's a huge crack behind it. And we're thinking of putting a board in there, taking the scaffolding away, putting a board at the end, a rope at the end of the board, and pulling the lintel out. Theoretically, and possibly, since it's got such a heavy rock above it, that will come out, and maybe a section above it will cave in, at which point the other side of the wall will probably fall to the inside, and shortly after, that huge section at the top, doesn't look very big from the camera point of view, but it certainly weighs two or three tons, and it may topple inward. So, Matt is now going to gingerly insert that stick in a space right there. And the idea is if we get it in there, okay, did something move? Something moved, but on the far end. Okay. Right. Now the idea is we're going to attach a we're going to attach a rope to that and go on the inside and pull and leverage out um, well leverage out that bit of wall and see what happens. But first we're going to move the scaffolding so we don't destroy it in the process. So we'll uh, come back to this in a minute. It is twelve o'clock. You can hear the church bells tolling. Okay, hey, Matt. We're ready. Yeah. Yep. So Matt is going to pull on the string. String, the rope. Which is going to lever this little board a little bit. We're ready. And yeah, let's see what happens. That was really dramatic, Matt. All right, what happened was our leverage board broke at a knot. So, we're gonna try the same stupid plan again. Take two. Right, so go for it. Yeah. 